The country's finance ministers say they all agreed at their meeting today that the Canada Pension Plan needs to be reformed. But they left the gathering with no deal to move forward. Federal Finance Minister Jim Flaherty said there was just no consensus in the room. But later, some of the ministers were pointing fingers, saying it's clear who was to blame for that. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky now with more. Terry. Well, Peter, in a word, the federal government said no. No to even planning to raise payroll deductions to beef up the Canada Pension Plan. We had um, a frank discussion. Look out. When they call it frank, it's not a good sign. And maybe Meech Lake, famous for a constitutional agreement that failed, wasn't the ideal spot. This time, provincial ministers came here to argue that Canadians don't save enough, so it's time to hike payroll deductions for the CPP and thereby raise benefits. But federal ministers were having none of it. So there was no consensus today on expanding CPP. The federal view is that it's about jobs, that both employers and employees pay for the CPP, so hiking rates means fewer jobs. And Jim Flaherty, fighting a cold, says we don't need higher payroll taxes. It means that the, the take-home pay for the employee is reduced, so that the employee, in fact, has less money to save. But some provinces were angry, notably Ontario, which led the charge for reform. In fact, I'm very disappointed that they used stall tactics in order to ensure that CPP enhancement wasn't even considered at this point in time. They even had the audacity to suggest that there was no consensus in the room. That's not true. There was. The only one that was not in favor was the federal government. That may be overstating it. BC's Mike DeYoung shared Ottawa's doubts. I tend to agree now is not the time. And in truth, few Canadians expect too much from the CPP, which pays a maximum of just $12,000 a year. People know that won't go far. If I had to rely on CPP, I probably wouldn't be able to live the way I want to live. Well, I hope I've worked all hard all my life, so I hope I have enough saved. And he'd better keep hoping, because the CPP won't get better soon, even if the provinces say that Ottawa's exaggerating the risk of improving it. Nobody wants to harm the economy. That's not what this is about. There's no proposal on the table that would do that. But the federal ministers beg to differ, so discussion closed. Ontario says it'll now go it alone. Details to come. But for now, saving for yourself and hoping it's enough, we'll just have to do, Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight.